Hi, I'm Andy Glass with Glass Impressions. Today we're going to use our CNC Shark HD3 with Extended Bed by Next Wave Automation, available at rocklure.com to demonstrate the tiling technique. This technique allows us to make work pieces that are larger than our work surface on our CNC system. It divides the project into tiles and then we individually mill the tiles on the CNC and then when it's all done we can put them together. Stick around, hope you enjoy. Now the demonstration of this point is to demonstrate the tiling functions of VCAR Pro. And in order to do this, for, for obviously demonstration purposes, my CNC can cut out this ring in one swoop, but um, we will apply a tiling function to this. So let's go back over into our 2D view, and here we'll click Tile Toolpaths over in the Toolpaths selection. And this tiling tool, or Toolpaths Tiling Manager pops up and we will check tile toolpaths. Now being this is a 24 by 24 inch surface, we're going to change that on the tile width to 12. We'll hit tab and it'll go down to the X. We will hit 12 and then on the right hand side we'll hit update tile. So now if I move this out of the way, you can see that our works piece has been quadrant off into four separate tiles. Down here in the toolpath drawings, you can change what toolpath is selected. Now, with this all ready to go, we're going to uncheck draw toolpaths in original position for visualization. That's for if we want to preview it, it's going to preview everything as if it's one tile. So, let's go ahead and save these toolpaths. create a new folder circle and I'm gonna create this oversized ring so now with the toolpath saves I'm gonna go back into that folder and show you how it saved just by clicking the save toolpath to file again so now with that same folder opened up you can see that it has saved the toolpaths but it has separated each quadrant into tile 1, tile 2, tile 3, and tile 4. So I will hit cancel being we've already saved it. Now let's go over to the CNC and cut these two. Um, in this folder you can see that it saved each of the toolpaths into the separate tiling function into the four toolpaths, tile 1, tile 2, tile 3, tile 4. Now being I've saved this already I will hit cancel Let's head over to the CNC and we will cut out these four different quadrants. Now that we're at the CNC, I'd like to show you how we register and hold down our 12 inch by 12 inch tile. It's important to note that the way I'm going to show you is specific to my CNC and how I have the ability to register for my spoil board. I will also describe a few other alternatives, so let's dive right in. Here you can see the edge I can reference from when I leveled my spoil board. I know the lip is perfectly in line with my CNC being it created it. I placed two boards that act as spacers keeping the tile perfectly in line with the CNC axis. I hold down these spacers in a similar manner as the tile. I use aluminum hold downs and when the span is too long, I use a piece of plywood and a hold down to apply pressure into hard to reach places. I insert a 60 degree V bit to help get a point on the spindle or router. I then line up the point to the corner of the tile. I then insert a quarter inch down cutting end mill and then use the touch plate to set the Z axis. Now let's let the CNC do the rest of the work.
With the first tile complete, we can move on to tile number two. Simply undo the clamps, put in the new tile, and retighten the clamps. You may need to move the clamps into a position where they don't hit the next arch. With all four tiles complete, we can lay them out on the table and see how they came out. To join them, I'm going to use my Festool Domino. Well there you have it, four quadrants glued up perfectly into a circle. Now this demonstration was for the tiling technique on your CNC and not how to make a ring. There are easier ways to make the ring, but let's go back to the CNC and show you different ways to register your tiles on your CNC. The way I registered and held down my tiles to my work surface is unique to my situation because I have these raised edges when milling out my spoil board. Now you can simulate this technique by putting a brand new spoil board on your work surface and milling a nice 90 degree register point for your tile to fit in. Another alternative is to make a large pocket for the size of your tile. So for this instance, it would be 12 by 12. That way your tile can't shift left or right and it's very repeatable. Put it in the pocket, hold it down, and start your CNC again. If you guys enjoyed this video, please smash the like button, share, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. If you'd like more information on glass impressions, I encourage you to visit my website, andyglassimpressions.com, or search me on YouTube, Glass Impressions, as I frequently release woodworking and CNC content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.